Piove sull'oceano, piove sull'oceano, piove sulla mia identità. Lampi sull'oceano, lampi sull'oceano, sguargi di luminosità. Mortuus est et revixit, pererat et inventus est. He was dead and he has come back to life. He was lost and has been found again. I have said in a sermon that I wanted to teach a man who had done good works while in mortal sin how these works come to life again, along with the time in which they were done. And this I will now show as it truly is, because I have been asked to make my meaning clear, and I will do so, although it is in opposition to all masters now living. The masters all say, that as long as a man is in a state of grace, all his works are worth of eternal reward. And that is true, for God does the works in grace, and I agree with them. But the masters concur in saying that if a man falls into mortal sin, all the works that he does while in mortal sin are dead just as he himself is dead, and they are not worthy of eternal reward because he is not living in a state of grace. And in this sense, it is true, and I agree with them. Now, the masters say, if God restores to grace a man who repents his sins, all the works he ever did in a state of grace before he fell into mortal sin, these all arise again in the new state of grace and live as they did before. And I agree with them. But, they say, those works the man did while he was in mortal sin are eternally lost the time and the works together. And that I, Master Eckhart, totally deny. And I say this, of all the good works that a man did while he was in mortal sin, not a single one is lost, nor the time in which they occurred, if he is restored to grace. Observe, this is contrary to all masters now living. Now, pay close attention to what my words imply, then you will grasp my meaning. 